A $30 million parking ramp proposal at Spectrum's Blodgett Hospital is creating controversy tonight. Some neighbors in East Grand Rapids are worried how it will change their neighborhood. 24 Hour News 8's Sarah Hurwitz is live with details on this project and the frustration some homeowners now feel about it. Sarah? Well, Brian and Marley, the three-year project would add two parking ramps on both ends of the hospital. And while Spectrum says it's unclear how many floors or how tall it will be, for people who live across the street, they are not happy with the idea of looking out their front door and seeing a cement wall. This is something that you would expect to see downtown Grand Rapids or maybe Chicago, but certainly not East Grand Rapids. David Brown and his family live at the corner of Sherman and Plymouth in East Grand Rapids. This is their view from their front yard, Spectrum's Blodgett Hospital campus. How do you think it would change your neighborhood? Oh my gosh. Um, well, I think I probably wouldn't have to mow my lawn. Um, I mean, 55 feet, I'm probably not going to see the sun that rises in the east until probably 1130 in the morning. The Brown family, one of numerous homes on both streets, touting these signs, calling for a revision of the proposed parking ramp. But as far as uh, being a good neighbor and fitting in with the uh, district, of East Grand Rapids. We just don't think that that's a good thing. The Spectrum Health says its board gave the okay to move forward with the project in December of last year. But after feedback from the city and a flood of input from neighbors, it's currently back to the drawing board, making changes to its site plan. The $30 million project is all centered around replacing a parking ramp that is near the end of its life for safe use. And it would give better access for patients to entrances. And there'd be two ramps on both sides of the hospital but Spectrum says it's unclear how many stories and how tall it would be. Clearly there'll be a lot of construction for the next 36 months. It'll be difficult for any of us to sell our homes during that period. And I also think that uh, it's going to uh, devalue our properties. Lynn Chadfield, who lives across the street from the hospital and also happens to be a local physician in the area, she says that she understands the need for patients having easy access. But she can do without the view of a cement wall from her front door. I would like to see them find a way to rebuild the underground and make the, the passage through it make more sense. Now, back in 2014, the city struck down a proposal to create a historic district right here in East Grand Rapids. Now, that would have put some restrictions on what could be built here. And we are told that Spectrum will be uh, resubmitting their site plans within a week. Live here in East Grand Rapids tonight, Sarah Hurwitz, 24-Hour News 8.